What is going on guys? Welcome to Greg Ols TV. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install the Samsung internet browser on your Galaxy Watch 4 so you can surf the web from your watch. All right, so the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna to go to the Google Play Store. So swipe up from your home screen, go down until you see the Play Store and tap on that. And then once you get to here, we wanna search for it. We're gonna hit the search button right here. And you have multiple ways you can search for it. You can type it, you can say it. I'm gonna uh, say it. Internet browser. And then I'm gonna hit there, I'm gonna search. And there we go, it comes up right here. It's got four, currently at the time of this video, has a 4.4 rating. So I'm gonna tap on that. And now I'm gonna hit install. You can see it's from Samsung Electronics and this is their browser. And we're gonna see everything we can do with this from you know browsing the web and whatever else we can do. So we'll check that out. So I'll just let this finish downloading and installing and I'll see you on the other side. All right, so we have the app downloaded and the way to get back to it is swipe up from the bottom and go all the way down and you should see it down here where it says internet browser. It's gonna be a little purple thing. So we're able to go to bookmarks on here such as YouTube or Google. So why don't we do YouTube? So we'll tap YouTube just to show and see if you can watch a video on this, which would be a little bit crazy. So to control it says swipe inward to show the edges of a web page. So the YouTube page is loaded up and this for me is extremely <laughs> difficult to see. All right, so here we go. We're gonna choose this video and let it load up. This is all in real time. Super small, but you can see it. This probably isn't a good video watch because I think he's like holding it like an iPhone almost. Go to another one. <laughs> we'll try to find another one. How about this one? This looks like it'll be all the way across. And then we'll make this, can we make, there you go. There it is, completely widescreen. You can watch videos on here. But again, the text and everything is super small. We're back to our bookmarks. So let's go to Google now and we will search for something. All right, so I searched for Android, I swiped it, and we're just gonna, this is so small, guys. This is crazy small. We'll just go to a website and see what it looks like. Here, we'll go to the Android website here. Yeah, you gotta have pretty good eyesight to see what's going on here, because I don't even think you can, can you pinch? Oh, you can zoom in, okay, perfect. So you could zoom in. I couldn't on the YouTube site, at least what I, what I noticed. So it looks like you can scroll by turning the wheel ever so slightly. You can also scroll just using your uh, thumb or your finger. And you can zoom in, like I said, as well. If you swipe up from the bottom, you can add to bookmarks. You can go into zoom mode, which I assume just zooms in for you. You can also show the website on your phone. Just click that and then on your phone, it loaded up the exact site I was on. So that's pretty helpful. So there you guys go. That was the Samsung internet browser. For me, it's a little bit too much in terms of like, I can't see a damn thing that's going on. It's way too small. Even zooming in, it's just such a small display. I do wish it was squared off like the iPhone was because I think it'd be better to view the content that way. But I mean, in a, in a, if you need it to just view something real quick or to push it to your phone, it's pretty helpful. But there you guys go. Samsung internet browser. Download it now. Peace.